everyone, you're watching Radio Heatwave today and we have a very, very special guest, a super talented and amazing R&B and soul singer, songwriter, producer and guitarist who released, who, who released his latest album, Ultraviolet, back last December and more recently with his newest title, with his newest single with Bibi Borley titled My Love. This brilliant artist will also be visiting us in Singapore to perform for his ongoing tour, Pass the Naked Eye, on the 17th of July. So my name is Devon and this is Akisha. Hello. Hi. Thank you so much for taking time off today to join us for this interview. Um, how are you doing? Is everything okay? Everything going well? Of course. Yes, uh, yes. Um, yeah, everything's going great. You know, all the preparations are going, happening in time. So yeah, I'm really excited to come to Singapore. Oh, we're super happy to hear that. So without further, further ado, let's start with the first question. Yes. Okay, so hi, Rini. Once again, thank you for being here. I really love your songs. I um, especially meet me in Amsterdam. That song actually got me through my national exams. Oh, so since thank we're from so Singapore, <laughs> so since we're from Singapore, we would like to ask, what are you most looking forward to when you come to Singapore for your show? Have you heard about like any places you want to go home or like any food you want to try? Actually, no. I've never been to Singapore, and like I don't, I don't. Unfortunately, I don't know a lot about you know what's in Singapore. But like, what I'm excited about really is you know seeing my fans in Singapore because I know that there's a lot that listen to the music out there and um you know it's, it's gonna be my first time so it's gonna be a whole different experience I guess and you know I'm just excited oh, okay that's really sweet to hear now let's get back to the music so we want to know what was the inspiration behind your latest album Ultraviolet oh yes um Ultraviolet uh it's actually you know it's a it's just like a compilation of uh tracks that i've you know worked on for the past you know two and a half years ever since constellations and you know during that time i was like you know going through a lot of you know growing and just mm -hmm. like realizations and you know personally and like musically so i feel like you know it's it's just kind of like a like an extension of me, like trying to express like this whole other side, you know, ultraviolet was meant to be a different type of uh, Rini. And, mm, okay. uh, you know, it's a whole different vibe to Constellations. Constellations is more like romantic and, you know, smooth and chill, but like we're stepping out of that and just like trying new things, trying more um, urban feel and, you know all of that stuff so yeah it's it's basically just uh yeah just like trying to you know try new things and being open to you know experimenting with new sounds and stuff so yeah oh okay okay great so our third question would be um who your greatest pillar of support has been throughout your music career uh my greatest pillar of support i would say be like my family first of all um you know, I wouldn't be here without them, obviously. But um, you know, every time I come home, it's like I get this refreshing feeling, and you know, they just being with the family gives me the boost to like just mm. keep doing what I'm doing. Cause you know, I'm not just doing the music for myself; I'm doing it for my family, you know, for my for my partner, and um, like my you know my team and my friends and stuff. So, yeah, but family for sure. That sounds mm. like a that's true that's great <laughs> um we also like to know if there are any artists that you're looking forward to collaborate with or if you have any teasers for us uh right now i don't have any teasers but i am looking forward to working with you know a lot of actually a lot of talented artists uh i really want to work with SZA. Mm. SZA has like been one of my dream collabs uh pharrell I know he's a producer, but he's also an artist. But yeah, um, you know, I guess we'll get there when we get there. I don't really have anybody that's, you know, like up there right now that I have a track with. So I wish I did. <laughs> mm, we would love to see that. So yeah. we'd also like to know that apart from R&B, are there any other genres that you'd like to explore? Yeah, definitely. I 
have been actually working on uh, developing this new sound. You know, I grew up listening to a lot of rock music, slow rock mm. and uh, ballads and stuff, you know, like Eagles, Queens, like the stuff that they play in you know, karaoke and stuff. Obviously, growing mm. up in the Philippines, we love that. Um, but yeah, just trying to, I guess, blend the worlds together, like, you know rock r&b mm. where it's kind of like the middle so yeah there's definitely this new sound that i'm i'm cooking up which i'm really excited you know for my mm. audience to listen to as well so going back to how you said you grew up in the philippines as you are an asian musician um, who is broken into the western music scene do you have any advice for any aspiring asian musicians for to do the same yes i mean my only advice is, first of all, yeah, like, you know, if that is your dream, then you chase after that dream. Like, you you, you make that dream come true um, by, you know, just doing what you love doing. And if that's music, then I feel like, you know, you, you, you have endless uh, opportunities out there. I think it's it's just a matter of, I guess, putting yourself out there. Um, a lot of artists are like scared to put out their music, but I feel like it's not really that complicated. It's like, you know, you, you gotta you gotta just do it. Do what feels mm -hmm. right. If it feels good to you, I feel like that's what matters the most. Like um as long as you're enjoying the stuff that you make, it's it's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. That's my only advice. Mm -hmm. It's great. So lastly, we'd like to end off with um what would you like to say to your Singaporean fans who'll be seeing you in your concert? Ooh, to my Singapore fans, um, so 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 excited to see you all, and you know I'm I'm I can't wait to actually perform live because I've never never set foot in Singapore, never performed live in Singapore, so I'm like, you know I can't wait to just get there and you know play for y'all. So, um, yeah, make sure y'all come through to the you know, but um, and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be. I'm going to be playing a lot of songs from like, you know, my older albums as well. And my EP after the sun, as well as, you know, the newest single, my love. Um, yeah. So it's going to be, it's going to be an experience for sure. Okay. I'm really excited for your concert and I hope um, do your best and good luck with the concert and everything. So with that, we'd like to thank you thank again you so, so much. so much for joining us and answering all our questions. Until Thank next you so time, you guys are all watching Radio Heatwave.